Hello and welcome to your sixth tutorial on programming games using uh, LWJGL. Uh, so this tutorial we're going to get around to doing the input class. Um, so I'm going to quickly go ahead and make a new class here. I'll just call this input handler and hit finish. Right, so the input handler is basically going to just hold all of our keys and whether they're pressed or not so we can use them in a game. So before I forget, I'm going to no we're not actually. Uh what I want to start here by doing is create a, a Boolean array called keys. And we need to initialize this to the size of so I have probably C plus plus for a while. I think this is how you do it. Six five five three six. Uh, that is, I forget how much, but that is basically the biggest amount of booleans you'll ever need because of different like people p people using keyboards in other countries with different characters on. You know. Uh, we'll talk more about that later. So um, I'm gonna create a function called tip input and here we're gonna put while keyboard dot next if keyboard dot uh get event key state so if the button was pressed down uh the keys at location Keyboard dot get event key equals to true. So basically, what we're doing here, this while keyboard dot next pulls the keyboard so that we can get any kind of input from it. Um, and the if keyboard dot get event key state would say if it's a down press. And then we just say we'll get the key code of the key that was pressed, and then we'll set that number in this array to true. And then we're just going to put an else statement here. And we're going to put, just copy this out, but we're going to call it false. Okay, so it should be about that done. I think so anyway. <laughs> um, let's create a private input handler i input something vaguely readable. Um where's our stuff? Um where's it gone? Um so we're gonna want to say input we're going to want to instantiate this or initialize it sorry. It's gonna be equal to new input handle and then tick function or whatever that is. I'll call the input not tick input. So to test this we're just going to draw system dot out print line hitting releasing. Okay. So let's see try this. Yeah, this one's so Yep, it's picking up as hitting. You can't see this in, in the console. Um let's bring this up. There we go. So I think you can see that now. Don't know because my hypercam overlay is just gone, which is slightly worrying. Um but yeah, that's basically you can see when you hold down the button it's hitting and releasing but notice this won't work with the mouse as of yet um, so that this has been a pretty short tutorial but the next one is going to be basically on mouse input and we're going to focus on getting uh, there's quite a few different variables we can do for the mouse we're going to basically explore and go around um, but for now I think that's it so see you in the next tutorial